My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We got a really nice, honest 61 Corvette Roadster right here. Gentleman we got it from has had it for the last 18 years. In the office, I have a folder with all of his maintenance records, uh, including an engine rebuild. If you visit volocars.com, that's where you can read all the specs, study 100 pictures or more, and you'll get the price. Not only on this one, but we have a few hundred collector cars, all for sale at volocars.com. If you enjoy watching the videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. Right now, tops down in this 61 vet. Let's go for a spin. Very rare color for 61. Uh, uh, it's not called champagne. I want to call it champagne. It was something beige, uh, inside and out. Nice, classy looking color, unique. You don't see it very often. Uh, overall, this car is in really nice shape. Not a fresh nut and bolt restoration, but just a good, nice, clean, honest vet. Underneath the car is pretty impressive. Uh, you'll see a nice clean black chassis. The frame has no rust. It's smooth metal, painted black, and the floors are raw fiberglass. That's the way they were when they left the factory. <clears throat> Typically people will paint over the floors when they've got repairs to make. Uh, so this one has no repairs underneath because it's all the nice yellow raw fiberglass. It's all clean. The front end components, uh, it's been going through. There's a few new bushings and tie rod ends and sway bar links. Uh, the bottom of the motor looks really clean. It's got the Borg Warner T10 four speed, uh, 336 gears in the back end. I think the shocks in back were new. It even has the uh, nylon straps uh, to keep the rear axle from dropping down too far. So underneath is very clean, proper, tidy, the way it should be. Uh, the parking brake cable system is all there and hooked up. The body overall is really nice. Uh, you know, a lot of times these old vets, they, they get cracked and bumped and you'll see body work. But this one here, the fender looks really good. There's some little nicks touched up right here. There's a little bubble size of my pinky nail right there. This trim is shiny. A uh, little nick right here touched up has the T3 headlights, at least three of them anyway. Uh, but the front end looks nice. It all fits really nice. Uh, the hood fits in there nice and square and flush. You know, all this is really good and smooth, the shiny trim. This is beautiful trim here. It all sparkles. Uh, painted rims to match the car. Hubcaps are real nice. Tires are new. Windshield's probably original. It has a couple minor wiper marks right here. A nick up in the middle. Visors are nice. Door handles are real nice. This is all looking good. That wipes off. This is all real nice in through here. Two little holes drilled. I don't know what they had there. At some point, someone did something. So two tiny holes. All the trim. These latches are nice. This is new. The bumpers are real nice and shiny. Tail lights are shiny. Antenna looks good. Trunk compartment, just clean, honest trunk. It's got a nice mat. It's got the cardboard. It's got a nice rubber seal. There is a spare tire in the well underneath the mat. The interior, a little fading up here on top of the door panel. The driver's side seat does have a hole that you can put your finger in, and uh, the cushion's a little baggy. So it's driver quality seats. Um, the dash, though, is real nice, not beat up. The dash pad fits really good. The instrument panel, really nice. You know, the knobs and gauges and lenses. Uh, interior lights work. Has the right uh, shifter with the reverse lockout. The heel pad right below the you know, uh, gas pedal there is a little bit worn. So the interior has some, some age, but it's not beat up. It, it fits nice. It's... It's not new, but it, it's not abused either. Uh, now the motor was completely rebuilt. I have a two page invoice that details, itemizes what's been done to it. It's been balanced. It's not 
the original motor, but it's a proper motor for this car. It's a 283, uh, four barrel. It's got the right pie tin air cleaner, uh, the shielding, finned aluminum Corvette valve covers. Uh, radiator looks nice as the expansion tank. Uh, the VIN number is properly located on the steering column the way it should be. The duct works hooked up, the generator is rebuilt. The fan, everything in here looks really nice and proper and it runs really well. So yeah, just a good old honest car. I'll start it up for you. Convertible top, uh, needs a new convertible top. The framework is there, the framework's very expensive. If you were to buy a car without the soft top, that framework can be thousands of dollars. The new convertible portion of it, uh, that's easy to have installed. That's less than a thousand for a brand new top. It does have a Corvette retro stereo, it fits right in the dash. Does have a nice exhaust. I call them like canister mufflers, really long mufflers, not the cherry bomb. I uh, have the hood latch, the hinge looks like it's new. Door jams are nice. It does have seat belts. It fits and shuts and looks nice. Good old honest Corvette here. Super clean underneath. If I owned it, I'd probably do a little interior work, a little dime on the door panels, probably redo the two seats, and I think you'd have a really nice car here. Visit volocars.com. There's plenty of ways on there to contact us. Our salesman would be happy to answer any questions you have about the car or the process of buying the car. They can help with the financing, with the delivery. So I gave you my impression of what I see here. If you want more specifics, feel free to ask them any questions you have. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, you'll be the first to see the next one that comes out. Thanks for watching.